The Sikorsky CH-53 Kate King Stallion is a heavy-lift cargo helicopter manufactured by Sikorsky Aircraft for the United States Marine Corps USMC. The King Stallion is an evolution of the long-running CH-53 series of helicopters, which have been in continuous service since 1966. It is built to thrive on the modern battlefield, including maritime operations. This helicopter is ingenious, reliable, low-maintenance, and survivable in the most distant and austere forward operating bases. Moreover, it is known as the modern solution for true heavy lift and heaviest helicopter in the U.S. military. The CH-53 King Stallion helicopter was designed and produced to the USMC exact standards, which will serve as its vital land and sea-based logistics connection. The new heavy lifter will allow the USMC and international militaries to transfer personnel and equipment more rapidly and effectively than ever before from ship to shore and to higher altitude terrain. Historically, the USMC had intended to upgrade the majority of CH-53 ease to keep them in service, but the idea was shelved. Sikorsky proposed a new version, originally designated CH-53X, and finally made a contract for 227 helicopters as the CH-53K, which cost about at $18.8 billion, with deliveries to be completed by 2021. When the King Stallion enters service, it will serve as the USMC's heavy lift helicopter with the MV-22 and UH-1Y. Sikorsky delivered the first CH-53K in December 2012. Its preliminary tests included calibrating the aircraft's fuel system and attaching measuring devices at various test locations on the airframe to record temperature, aerodynamic loads, pressure, and vibrations, with two additional static ground test articles underwent structural testing at the firm's main manufacturing plant in Stratford, Connecticut. In addition, Sikorsky was granted a $435 million contract by the Navy in May 2013 in order to supply four prototypes of Sikorsky CH-53K for operational evaluation and mission testing. With the first two prototypes will test structural flight loads, while the third and fourth vehicles will validate general performance, propulsion, and avionics. In October 2013, Sikorsky issued an $8.5 million contract to Krytos Defense and Security Solutions for the design and development of maintenance training systems for the CH-53K, including a full fidelity maintenance training device suite and a helicopter emulation maintenance trainer HEMT, providing a realistic environment for training and evaluating maintainers of the King Stallion various subsystems. The HEMT supports maintenance training scenarios with a 3D virtual environment, including functional tests, fault isolation, troubleshooting, removal, and installation for 27 subsystems. Finally, in May 2014, during the formal rollout of the King Stallion General James, F. Amos declared that the aircraft would be known as the King Stallion, which then took its first flight in October 2015. The first CH-53K Stallion simulator was delivered to the U.S. MC in May 2020 at Marine Corps Air Station New River in Jacksonville, North Carolina. It's a containerized flight training device produced, CFTD, by Sikorsky's parent firm, Lockheed Martin. So, how does the Sikorsky CH-53 King Stallion as the modern helicopter look like? The CH-53 King Stallion is a compound helicopter general redesign, including new engines and cockpit layout, powered by two General Electric T-408 engines, each rated at 5,600 kilowatt, and capable of flying at 37 kilometers per hour, which faster than the CH-53, E-1 distinguished feature of this helicopter is its new digital glass cockpit with fly-by-wire controls and haptic feedback, HUMS, a new elastomeric hub system, and composite rotor blades, all of which will increase hot and high performance. It was around 2007. Work on a split torque gearbox with quill shafts began, with total weight of the gearbox assembly, including the rotor hub and rotating control system, which approximately 5,280 kilograms, with the weight of the split torque gearbox is 2,390 kilograms. The King Stallion also fitted with an enhanced external cargo handling system, increased survivability, and improved service life. The cabin has 30 feet long, 9 feet broad, and 6.5 feet height. 
It passes new shorter composite sponsons and a cabin that is 30 cm wider, which is ideal choice for transporting more cargo or troops with fewer trips. The larger cabin is able to carry four 63L pallets and high-mobility multipurpose wheeled vehicles, offers flexible configurations for maximum mission effectiveness, and facilitates loading or unloading of cargo without reconfiguring and removing troop seating. Moreover, this helicopter can accommodate four crews. In addition, the Stallion surpassed the capability of its predecessor by carrying nearly 30% more than the CH-53E's external payload of 12,200 kg over the same radius of 204 km. The Stallion payload reaches a maximum of 15,900 kg and its maximum gross weight is 39,900 kg, which keeps approximately the same footprint as the CH-53E. Moreover, this helicopter has also joined several trainings. The Kane Stallion helicopter successfully performed an air-to-air -air refueling test with the help of a Lockheed Martin KC-130J aerial refueling tanker. It has repeatedly demonstrated its ability to grab and plug the drogue during a 4.5-hour flight over the Chesapeake Bay, withstanding turbulent air and the strain on the refueling probe at increasing closure rates. Furthermore, Lockheed Martin handed over the first CH-53K training equipment to the U.S. Navy in April 2020. The CFTD is a full mission flight simulator that will train flight crews on the complete range of Marine Corps heavy lift missions, including external lift operations and degraded visual environment takeoffs and landings. The Stallion's functionality, flight characteristics, mission profiles, and unrivaled capabilities are all replicated in the CFTD. Lastly, Sikorsky and Raymatol have inked a deal for roughly 4 billion euros to work together on the German Air Force's CH-53G heavy lift helicopter replacement program in Germany in February 2008, competing against Boeing's CH-47F Chinook. But in the second half of 2018, the German Federal Ministry of Defense was scheduled to submit an official request for information, with a deadline of 2020 for awarding a contract and delivery beginning in 2023 for an expected order of roughly 40 helicopters. Furthermore, in Israel, the Air Force stated that in 2009, it evaluated the new model after it flies. It formalized a demand for the CH-53K in August 2015, designating the type as a very high priority item to allow the military to undertake operations that only the platform can perform. The stallion was chosen by the Israeli Ministry of Defense in February 2021 and making contract with the United States to purchase 12 King Stallion helicopter in December 2021. And for additional information, Sikorsky has been contracted by the U.S. Navy to build nine more CH-53 K King Stallion heavy lift helicopters in 2025 for the U.S. Marine Corps, which have been announced by the U.S. Department of Defense where the service awarded a contract to build the helicopters as part of production lot 6 with total up to $853 million. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.